Welcome back to Josiah Please Deus Ex Human Revolution. Microgen Lab. What am I doing? Well, I'm trying not to get caught at the moment. There's a patrolling dude. Seems to kind of be by himself, so that's going to be a bad day for him. What? Oh! I didn't notice that guy because his thing on the radar was, you know, kind of concurrent with the camera or whatever. Oh, well, cool. Come on over here. I'm gonna take you out. Shit. I screwed up. He saw me. He saw me. I didn't even notice that guy. I saw the camera on the thing and I was looking at the camera and then I didn't notice that there was a dude there too. Where am I? Oh, I'm back here. Okay, so let's be a little more careful than that. I wonder, because there's also a guy right there. Okay, so we have this guy wandering around, we've got the camera there, we have that guy back there, but it doesn't look like he's coming, you know, in this room. Well, let's see what he does, actually. Yeah, he stops right there, okay. We have a whole gang of dudes up higher, but right now we shouldn't have to worry about anybody but this guy. And he looks quite takeable outable, doesn't he? Well, not when he's sitting there facing this way. Well, I guess even when he's sitting there facing this way, I can just cloak and wander over there. But I'm not going to. What I'm going to do instead is wait. Wait for him to get up. Wait for him to walk this way. Take him now. Now I need to hide him somewhere. So let's come over here. Ooh, wait. <laughs> um, well, hold on. Take his pocket secretary, let's read it. Last warning, from Omega Security to Daniel Falk. Hello, Mr. Falk. Sorry for the inconvenience, but it seems someone thought it would be a good idea to install recreational apps on the lab security hub. Sometimes the sheer stupidity of some people simply baffles me. Anyway, crash the hub OS and we had to reformat and reinstall. Your information has been reset. User default, password top frag. What a dumbass. Okay. Uh, here's a security hub. Now, I'm a little concerned, though, about this dude right now. Where is he? Oh. He's on the other side of a wall. Okay, cool. Well, here's what I'm going to do, then. I'm going to open this vent. And I'm going to take this gentleman. And I'm going to put him in here. Come on, man. Get in the vent. Okay, good. That way we just make sure that there's no complications surrounding his knocked out body. Next thing I'm going to do... creep over here. Look around a little bit. Oh, 
what's this? Ammo case. Don't actually need any ammo. Ooh, there's a dude right there. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. As much as I want to turn off the camera with the hub, I probably need to be careful. Because if I'm standing there hacking that, there's no way that guy's not going to see me at some point, right? Hmm. Well, let's just observe. Oh. Got to be careful of the camera, though. Let's see what this guy does. goes over there. He comes up this way. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll quick save and just try it. This is a big system. Damn it. Get get out. Damn it. Shit. Oh well this'll work. He'll come over here. I can take him out outside of the outside of the side of the camera. <laughs> Was not ideal exactly, but it worked. It worked and it didn't get me in trouble. So. I guess. We will make do. And we'll put him in the vent too. Just because. Putting guys in vents is fun. Well shit. Now. Yeah. Now I just have the run of the place. Well not quite. There's still guys around pretty close. But. Now I can. Now I can turn this off though. With impunity. All right, come back to this. Don't get detected on the first one. Shouldn't get detected on this one either. Should be able to take a bunch of these number twos without any problems. We're gonna fortify some stuff. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take this spam, we're gonna take this. And then we're gonna... That's it, I guess. I guess I got got everything. Access granted. Cool. No camera... No turrets, no robots, no doors. There are two cameras. There's this one right here. And then there's this one, I guess, maybe up on the upper floor. And there's a guard up there. So I can turn that off. So that'll let me take that guard out more easily without... Pocket Secretary. WHO storage code update from Alexander Poirot to Omega Security. Just a heads up, but I changed the access code to the old WHO storage room due to faulty VRAM on the keypad. Had to replace the entire unit and scrub the database. New code is 9992. Cheers, Alex P. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate that. Giving out codes and a thing. Alarm panel rating 5. Here we go. Take this. Take this. Just start fortifying now. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> I screwed up there, as you saw. Screw it. I'll nuke that. I don't even care. That's how I roll. That's gonna take forever to take. Yeah, I better stop for him. Granted. Hmm. I don't know that that was really worth it all, with all the software I used. I guess it's okay though. I have plenty. What did I get? Oh, I got a Praxis point. Right. Let's finish out this fortify thing. 
Solid protection against intrusion countermeasures is available to anyone with the Kastikian Neural Optics Node Fortifier once they've developed a reasonable aptitude with the device. So I'm pretty much the master hacker now. I don't have the analyzed ones, but I don't give a crap about those. And, uh... Although I guess it might be nice to be able to analyze data stores so I can see the one that's far away and only has five credits in it, so I don't bother with it. Um, and then there's these other, these stealth things. I guess I might get the last known no location. Mark and Track doesn't seem useful to me because I already have them on my radar. And can see through walls when I need to. I guess it could be helpful. If it was Mark and Execute, like in Splinter Cell Conviction, then that would be godly awesome. But it's not that. Let's go through this vent see where it leads. I think it just leads right over here. Yeah. Would have been helpful way to get past the camera and stuff if I needed it, but... Is this the way back out to the... Well, hold on. Let's just... What's the deal with these things? These strange lamps on the ceiling. I guess they're like diffusing the light in some really even microgen lab, X to courtyard, yeah. In some way that provides optimal lighting for minimal eye strain and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. Mega Ranch, microgen lab. This is pretty cool. I like this thing. Nice little fountain there. Okay, let's, um... Well... First things first. This is where I came from, the Morgan stuff, right? There's the stairs up. Let's take this guy out that's... It's a hand-washing faucet that's right over here. Let's deal with this dude. What's he doing? Okay, he's inside here. Basically just guarding this room. Oh, there's a breakable wall right there. Interesting. Okay, let's get him. Shotgun cartridges, okay. What's the deal with this super bright room? Of, of super brightness. And superness, and brightness. Yeah, it's it's got all that. It's that many levels of super and that many levels of bright. It's a pretty impressive room, I gotta tell ya. Throwing stuff around, making some unnecessary noise. Cause I'm the stealth master. Do I wanna break this wall? Probably, but let's just look around first before I go too crazy with wall breaking. Oh, that's there in case I don't want to hack this, but I do want to hack this. I mean, at this point in the game, if you don't either have good hacking or at least the ability to break walls, you've done something terribly wrong with your augs. Okay, uh, I'm out of time for this video. So I'm going to stop right here. And say to you, thank you for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex, Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.